Hello, my name is Nancy Lewis. Welcome to the Cool Tools podcast series. I'm introducing a Web 2.0 tool named iMacros. iMacros is a record and playback tool for your browser. iMacros is available as a free plugin for Firefox and Internet Explorer. Use iMacros to capture repetitive browser tasks. For this demonstration, I have already installed the plugin. It resides in my toolbar. And I'm going to create a macro that will log me into my Gmail account and also launch my home page. So let's get started. There is the panel, and it has three workspaces um, a play, a record, and edit. We're interested in recording. Now, before you start, you uh, before you hit the record button, you need to have your first web page active, which I've already done. So now we hit the record button, and iMacros is going to uh, remember how to fill in this form, which is an in blue six, and the password is ding ding choose sign in ignore that and we get logged into Gmail good now center that the next step is to open a second tab it's still recording and this is going to have my home web address isn't that cute now we're done and we choose stop. Good. By default, iMacros stored all of our commands in this name. I want to give it a more functional name, or, or at least a name that won't be overwritten. So I'm going to choose save and give it the name Gmail. Good enough. And where did it go? It's right there. Now we want to test this out. So we're going to close these windows. I need to log out of Gmail. And actually, we quit this window, so nothing is active. And we go to Play, select this macro, and play it. And there goes Gmail. And noticed it filled in the form. And now it's going to launch my home page. There it is, and we're done. Bravo! Now I want to do one more thing. I want to give this a slightly different name, so I'm going to choose to rename it. And because it has two web pages, I'm going to call it 02, Gmail 02, rename. And it did. I also have the option of choosing to add it to my bookmarks. I'm not going to do that at this point. This concludes my presentation. For more information on Cool Tools, point your web browser to Cool Tools Library 2 blogspot.com. And thank you for viewing.